and we're back for another episode. In this episode we're going to be leveling crafting from level 53 to 54. And as always, hello from Mifri. So I'm guessing you guys have been looking forward to this episode, that's for sure. So we hit level 53 on all crafts doing the standard stuff like the Grand Company turn-ins, some collectibles, some leaves, and stuff like that. But to be honest, I haven't really done that many leaves. But let me talk about at least what's going to change as of level 53. So now, uh, for level 53, we're actually going to start getting our first upgrades uh, in terms of gear. So I'm only going to cover one piece uh, just for the sake of this video. But um, there are others to get, such as if we look at the crafting list which I will work on on my own time and I recommend you do the same. So you have, let's see, here the rainbow wedge cap. So it says 39 control and you look at the artisan, so it has also 39 control, but, and that's this is the big, the royal but, um, <coughs> this is normal quality, so obviously the high quality will have more control. And also the fact it's got two material slots which are guaranteed material slots plus remember with any gear that you can melt material on you can have five material but of course I wouldn't recommend that just put like uh, craftsmanship and CP or something on it if you craft it high quality and then you also have uh, rainbow gloves again 39 control so you can see that these pieces these 53 pieces would challenge even the best artisan gear from level 50 and it's only we're only level 3 53 and again let's look at the chest so 121 craftsmanship 39 control and let's see so it's 20 craftsmanship higher 6 control higher but remember this is normal quality stats on the list high quality will give you more that's the key thing to remember here so the level 53 set basically will get you to what is um, effectively 4 star stats of level 50 which is great and um, some of these pieces of gear, the normal qualities, will actually be given to you as part of the level 53 class quests. So make sure you do all the level 53 class quests so you can get each of these rewards if you don't want to craft them yourself. Now, one piece we are going to make in this episode is the offhand for Carpenter, just to show you what it's like at level 50. I think it's level 53. Let me check. So let's see. So we want the... Here we go. So the level 53 Mifrite Claw Hammer. So it says 159 craftsmanship, 85 control. And again, like I said, this is normal quality stats. When we compare that to this one, um, this is a max max melded artisan file that I had from level 50. And on here with my materia, I've got 154 craftsmanship and 85 control so you can see this is this slightly is higher this is only level 53 by the way so lots of people did ask me before the expansion launch like is it worth getting full looses full four star stats before the expansion launches and i said absolutely not and this is the reason we, we've already been proven that at level 53 only three levels in we're going to start getting gear which is higher than the maximum you could have got at level 50. of course for the first three levels it did help but that's it only for three levels so let's try now to make the mifry claw hammer we've made all these mats ourselves, high quality using the rotation i explained in the other video and we're going to just do it again. So because this is all high quality materials, finishing this off will be a lot easier. So let's synthesize. And I'm going to do it manually. I'm not going to use macros for this uh, just for now, just to explain again the rotation. So we're going to do comfort zone, inner quiet. And there is one change to this because at level 53, we get precise touch. So it says increases quality, increases in a quiet stack by one up to 11. Now, you might think, but you know, touch is already increased in a quality in, in a quiet by one anyway. What's special about that? This is by a further one. So, in theory, this will increase it by two stacks and can only be used when good or excellent. So, I will try and throw it into the rotation. So, we're going to do steady hand two. And you see, it's a good straight away. We have a choice of either hitting tricks of the trade, but for the sake of this, I'm going to hit precise touch. So you can see it went straight to three stacks immediately because it jumped two. 
so that's why Precise Touch is actually really awesome. So when I first looked at it, I was like, eh, but now that I know it's two stacks, it's actually really, really good. So we're going to do um, Hasty Touches all the way. And any other goods along the way, we're going to hit Tricks of the Trade, because CP is important to us. Okay, and keep going. Okay, so we're not going to ever hit um, a touch, hasty touch, precise touch, any touch, when we don't have 100% chance to succeed. The only time we can't get 100% chance is with hasty touch, so the maximum we can do is steady hand 2 with hasty touch anyway, that's why I'm using hasty touch a lot. But the advantage of hasty touch is the fact it's free, it costs no CP. So again, um, just for the sake of it, I'm going to risk a hasty touch without steady hand 2. Just because I don't want to renew Steady Hand 2 and waste stacks while before I do Master's Men 2. So now we've done Master's Men 2. And we're going to hit again Comfort Zone. And for those who don't know Comfort Zone, it says restores 8 CP uh, after each step for the next 10 steps. And it costs 66 CP. Uh, but 8 CP for 10 moves means it will restore 80 and it costs 66. So it's, in theory it's like saying please give me 14 CP. That's what it means over 10 moves so again so we're already at 47 percent uh quality which is great so we're going to do steady hand two we're going to again hit hasty touch so we are very very close guys to finishing so to be honest i could probably just hit by guards and finish but i'm not going to bother i'm going to instead hit precise touch again so use this What's the word? Sparingly. Don't use it every single time it procs, because you do. You will need a few tricks of the trade, but use it quite often. So you can see I'm already at 80% quality, so I can just hit Bygot's uh, Blessing as it is, and it will work immediately. I don't need great strides, I don't need innovation, nothing, because I'm already so close. Okay, and then I'm going to hit Ingenuity 2, and then I'm going to just hit Careful Synthesis 2, because I've got five. I've got 50 durability, so... That is more than enough to finish the stats, to finish the craft. So you can see I needed four of them. I could have chosen to hit standard synthesis if I needed, if I wanted to just use three, but that was it. So I made now a Mithrite claw hammer. Now another piece of gear that I need to make for today for the um, Grand Company allowance is the Mithrite pugil stick. So let's see, Mithrite pugil stick. I need one Holy Cedar Lumber and one Mithrite Ingot. So let's change to Alchemist. Let's make two Holy Waters because you need that to make a Cedar Lumber. So let's do that now. So let's see, one of those. Okay, 60 minutes after my food, so let's emphasize. And because we are using all the same shared abilities on all eight crafts, we can do all the same rotations. So again, Comfort zone in a quiet, steady hand too. But remember, this is 40 durability, not 80. So take note of that. So a hasty touch, hasty touch, hasty touch. Okay, master's mend to get back to 40 durability. Hasty touch, and I'm going to risk two hasty touches without. Um, steady hand 2 just for lols and it doesn't always succeed but it, it does succeed enough to save the CP of steady hand 2 so we're going to use tricks of the trade we're going to renew comfort zone we're going to hit master's men to again get us back to 40 durability and then steady hand 2 again hasty touch 3 times Okay, so just for the sake of it, I'm going to hit Precise Touch. Cool. So now we have, let's see, 10 stacks of Inacquire, 5 stacks left of Comfort Zone, 10 durability. So obviously I have no choice but to hit Master's Men. And now I'm going to just go about doing the ending rotation. So I'm going to hit one um, Careful Synthesis 2 because I know it won't finish the craft. Okay. And now, because I'm waiting for my CP to restore, you, know, you notice that. So I'm, I'm hitting extra buttons to make it restore. So I'm going to hit Great Strides. Now the thing is, this is your choice that you have right now. It's a good 
which means that obviously by God's blessing will do a lot more uh, quality but um, you already have great strides which will double it anyway so but the thing is we don't have steady hand up which means that there is a chance by God's blessing will fail so you have a choice just risk by God's blessing to finish it off immediately but it could blow up or you could do it this way where you hit tricks of the trade you hit steady hand to make sure that by God's doesn't fail you have still one stack left of great strides and then you just hit by God's because you get to 100% anyway but at least then you're safe in what you're doing that's the the key thing we're trying to show here is you know safety over rushing so again one more careful synthesis do 100% done so again we need to make one more so we will do comfort zone in a quiet tricks of the trade because we don't have steady hand up for precise touch steady hand two we're gonna hit precise touch for the sake of it. Well, as I said, we're using it sparingly. We're not going to use it all the time. We're going to then use hasty touch. Hasty touch. Okay. Master's mend. Hasty touch. Two more times. We'll risk it without steady hand. Nope. And... Hey, one of them succeeded. That'll do. So, comfort zone. Tricks of the trade because we can't do anything at ten durability. Master's mend. Steady hand two. And then let's see, do we have enough? Yeah, we have enough for one more rotation, so we're gonna do three more hasty touches. So one, I'm gonna use tricks of the trade because my CP is kind of low. So again, hasty touch, two more times. Okay, so we have a lot of blow-ups this time, but that's it's RNG. Sometimes you get no blow-up, sometimes you get 10. It's just like, that's, that's crafting, you know? Okay, so now let's do the normal finishing rotation. So we're going to do steady hand. We're going to hit tricks of the trade because it was too early for that good to be there. Great strides. Innovation. Sorry, ingenuity 2. Innovation. This is a normal um, finishing combo. And it makes no difference whether it's good excellent or whatever we're just going to hit by gods we have no choice because great strides is about to wear off but with seven stacks of inner quiet plus great strides plus uh innovation hopefully we will get to like 90 percent plus okay 74 whatever but we do know that it takes only two moves of careful synthesis 2 to finish so we're going to do tricks of the trade and it's like I said, this is why I'm not using macros for this, because you have to react to the different situations. You're not guaranteed to finish. So again, I'm going to do careful synthesis 2. Okay, I know one more careful synthesis 2 will finish this regardless. So what I'm going to do is, for the sake of it, I'm going to hit a standard touch, because I have enough CP for it. It failed, whatever, let's hope for high quality, 74%. And it high quality. So, like I said... Um, I won't macro some of these rotations just because you have to just learn how to craft manually and react to different situations. So now, let's make the Holy Cedar Lumber. And we have all high quality mats, which will make it a lot easier. So again, we checked our food, we have 10 minutes left. So, the comfort zone, in a quiet. Steady hand two. Tricks of the trade, just for the sake of it. Get some extra CP. Hasty touch. Hasty touch. Ah, hasty touch. Okay, Master's Mend. Steady hand two. Hasty touch. It's a good, so we might as well just hit precise touch. Okay, we're going to renew comfort zone because it fell off. And an excellent, so we're going to hit precise touch again, just to make sure that the hasty touch doesn't... It's an alternative to hasty touch, basically, that you know won't blow up. So you can see we're already at 94% without even trying. So, again, Master's Mend. And the thing is, though, this is me, this might be the cynical part of me, but... 94% can still normal quality. That's the thing, that, that's the way this game is. So I'm only going to proceed with 100%. I'm not going to assume it's going to... Um, high quality. So I'm just going to hit Bygots because I've got loads of stacks, so definitely high quality. 
Then careful synthesis. I've got three moves. I only need two. Okay. So that's the holy cedar lumber. And now I need one more Mithrite ingot. So let's let's do it. Let's make a Mithrite ingot. So do I have the materials? Yes, I do. By coincidence. So let's synthesize. And exactly the same rotation. Comfort zone. In a quiet. Tricks of the trade. Because we don't have steady hand two up for precise touch. Steady hand two. Hasty touch. Precise touch. Hasty touch. Master's mend. And then, again, uh, hasty touch. Okay, tricks of the trade. We're going to risk two hasty touches for the sake of it. So that failed, whatever. Renew comfort zone because it fell off. One more hasty touch. It failed, whatever. But we got some plenty of CP back, so it's no problem. So we're going to hit again. Master's Men. Get back to 40 durability. And then, steady hand two. And that's a good. We have hit Tricks of the Trade a couple of times. So you could probably, for every Tricks of the Trade, hit a precise touch. You know, you might as well. Every every other one, let's say. We, we'll, we'll put that into practice and we'll see how that pays off in the future. So, again, hasty touch. Hasty touch. Okay, good. Tricks of the Trade. So, once more. Master's Mend. Get back to 40 durability. It's an excellent... Um, now, I don't really want to risk Bygot's Blessing without Steady Hand. And one thing you can do, actually, with an Excellent now, which you couldn't do before, is you can use Tricks of the Trade on it. So before the expansion, Tricks of the Trade would only work on goods, but now it works on goods or Excellent. So I can hit Tricks of the Trade and salvage some CP. And then, again, um, and let's see, I've got 140, so I might as well do the standard finishing rotation. So Steady Hand... Great strides. It's a good, but uh, yeah, we could. I guess we could hit good. It will probably give us more than innovation will. So let's just hit by got straight away. Hundred percent. And then it doesn't make any difference whether I hit in January to two or not. I've always going to take me two moves to finish. It's important to know how much um, progress your careful synthesis two will give you. And obviously, we love careful synthesis two because it's hundred percent success rate. It won't fail. So now let's go back to Carpenter. Let's go and let's make our Pugil Mithrite Pugil stick. And I know it's needed because if you press Control U on your keyboard, look at your next mission allowance. You can see here Mithrite Pugil stick. So I know it's needed for the Grand Company for today. So let's again, let's make it. Synthesize. Okay. So Comfort Zone in a Quiet. It's an excellent, but we don't have steady hand, so we're going to just hit Tricks of the Trade, get our CP back. Steady hand two. Hasty touch all the way. And we hit a, a Tricks of the Trade before, so we can hit a precise touch. Okay, we're at four stacks already. Hasty touch. Hasty touch. And we'll hit Tricks of the Trade just for the sake of it. We will renew Steady Hand 2. Hasty Touch. Renew Comfort Zone because it fell off. Hasty Touch. Tricks of the Trade. Master's Men 2. Because we're getting back 60 durability rather than 30. That's the difference. So Master's Men restores 30 durability. Master's Men 2 restores 60. And then Steady Hand 2. Hasty touch. Wow, we're at 81% already. That was quick. Hasty touch. Okay, whatever. We can just finish. So we have 180 CP and 8 stacks and 80% 80, 80 quality already. So we're going to just do the standard finishing rotation. So we can just hit Bygots. We, we don't even need great strides. That was over the top. Ingenuity 2 to help us with the progress. And then careful synthesis 2, I believe, three times to finish. Boom. Finished. Done. Now, you can see this entire video, my lowest quality was like, what, 74% using this rotation? So, believe. I do know what I'm talking about. 
So here's the serpent. Uh, because I'm only here because I'm a member of the Twinada. Mithrite Pugil Stick. Hand it over. High quality gives double the reward. Yes. So you see we'll get 300,000 experience for the day. Which is nice. And it's going to reset in like 3 hours anyway. So I can do it again. You can see I'm a fraction below 54. Now one thing I'm going to quickly do. I'm going to go to Foundation. I'm going to show you the NPC. I'm not going to do the 53 quest. I will do it after I finish recording. But I will. I just want to show you the rewards of the level 53 quest giver so we need to go to the broom for carboner and a good way this is a little trick it might help you to know where your quest giver is i need i'm looking for the quest giver for carboner and i'm thinking where the hell is he there's so many quests here it's literally it's the only one that's that's not red that's how i know that this is the one for carboner this you know that's it that's the trick it's because every other quest requires another class to to do it whereas this one is the carboner one so I'm going to use the A for right. I'm going to click on A for net. Teleport to the broom. Okay. So here we go. Here is the quest giver for Carpenter. This is this becomes the quest giver for Carpenter after you've done the level 50 quest in the Gridania Carpenter Guild. So let's see the rewards. So you see Mithrite Claw Hammer. And you get to pick one of these rainbow gears. Now, the thing is, what I would recommend at this point, we're going to craft high quality ones because we are crafters at heart. We really want to do it ourselves. We don't need vendor rewards. But what you can do is take both of this, the Mithrite Claw Hammer, and one of these pieces and sell it. Sell on the auction house. You will be surprised how much gill you get for it. In my server, anything from 50 to 100,000 gill for these very simple uh, rewards. Maybe people don't even realize yet the fact that a lot of these items are quest rewards at level 53 so if i can sell these for 50k a pop and do it eight times for eight different classes then i might make a lot of money so again what i'm going to show you very quickly is the actual offhand so let's look at the offhand that i crafted so let's see let's sort my bags so we can see here 180 craftsmanship 97 control compared to Let's see. 154 craftsmanship and um, 85 control. So you can see this is substantially higher. Now, one thing to note as well, let's take a look at the stats on here. So we were looking at the Mifry Claw Hammer. So the initial stats are 159 craftsmanship, 85 control. That's for the normal quality. But you can see the high quality has got substantially higher stats. This is way, way, way higher. This is a lot. This is a big bonus for high quality. So really take a note of that, guys. That this is this might even be a change for the expansion. That high quality stats are a lot higher than the the gain seems to be a lot higher. Who knows? Maybe the percentage gain is the same, but in numbers terms, it is a lot higher. So what I'm going to do? I'm going to equip the offhand, which is great. So goodbye um artisan offhand that i spent millions and millions of gill melding that's just life i need to let it go and uh, let's look at my stats now so my now my stats just with this one upgrade i've got 519 craftsmanship 443 control so which is nuts and because it's got material slots on it to be honest this one material slot, i might just put cp on it just for the sake of gaining extra cp um so yeah, so anyway guys, that's the level uh, 53 to 54 crafting video. So to recap, because this, this video was a bit longer than the other ones, so a quick recap, do the Grand Company turn-ins every day, do leave quests if you need to, um, craft everything yourself, high quality everything yourself, upgrade your gear as you can going along, sell the quest rewards, the level 53 quest rewards on the market board, try and make some money, and that's it basically that's and and also you can if you like uh do as we used to do in the past make one of each item sell them to get the first time bonuses on the um uh, from the crafters log but the thing is though there isn't anywhere near that many recipes in the expansion for 50 to 60 so you know it's, it's more to make them to sell them rather than anything else because while everything is still new prices will go you know the prices will be very very high 
and we're not going to be able to upgrade Lucis. If you have a Lucis primary tool, this will not actually be upgraded until level 55. So these Lucis were obviously definitely worth getting. But they're not worth getting now, but they were worth getting before. So anyway, guys, that's it for this episode. Thank you for watching. And as always, goodbye from me and goodbye from Mifri. <laughs>